How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. <laughs> Just saw your show. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you. Um, my biggest question for you is, where does your inspiration come for your music? Because look at a lot of female rappers rapping about the same things. You rap about kind of a different genre, a different scenario. You play to different facets of the human personality. So where does your inspiration come from? What inspires you to write? Wow. Um, I mean, on some level, I would say everything. You know, it's kind of like, um, it depends on the day, the time. You know, like when I sit down to write, it's usually that I have a thought, some sort of, you know, theory in my head that I've read about or that I've applied to myself, you know, gone through a lot of things that you know, made me really have to kind of dig deep and look at myself and sort of shift how I was being or how I was acting or, you know, what I was thinking. And um, a lot of that is, you know, spiritual work and meditation and, you know, studying a lot about psychology and um, and just, you know, presence and so many different things that, you know, in the moment I'll, I might be thinking about, you know, um, a particular situation and how, how I would deal with it and then that will sort of spawn, you know, a, a couple lines. And then sometimes it's very organic, it almost feels, you know, because I'm, I'm reading books or I'm like, you know, listening to mentors or just like in conversation and, you know, days later, even months later, you know, I'll be in the shower and it's just like, like something kind of just comes out, you know, it feels like, I don't know where it comes from, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I do feel like it's almost like a channeling process. I think a lot of artists, you know, have that sort of experience, you know? Absolutely. Um, but definitely, I would say, like, my spiritual work, you know, that I've done internally and that I've learned from, from people that inspire me is, is probably, like, the biggest foundational inspiration, I guess. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and what are your biggest influences? Like, who influences you on a daily basis to continue what you do, to continue your spiritual practice, continue your meditations, and what kind of influences you to write? Well, I would say, um, you know, I've always, since I was very young, I've been just, like, had this burning kind of, like, I want to change the world, you know, and I really recognize that it's about, you know, it's a lot about changing yourself, you know, the man in the mirror, like Michael Jackson right. said, you know, and so I've really been inspired by learning from others, definitely, um, what keeps me going, you know, I have a company called Nocturnal, and my girls, um, you know, they're on this journey with me, and they teach me stuff every day, and um, that's really been something that keeps me kind of doing what I'm doing, you know, because I see their grind, and I see their hustle, and, and their growth as human beings, and that inspires me, my family the same way, um, you know, uh, my loved one, my um, beloved, you know, like just every person in my life has some, some influence, you know, and I just think people are amazing, and they're, and I mean, everybody has something in them that can inspire you, you know, so I really, when I do interact with people, you know, I, I, I try to really look at, like, the best and most beautiful thing about them, and that, right. that's really, you know, very inspirational, too. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just kind of, I guess, you know, the other thing that keeps me going is just kind of, like, it, it's, it's like, it won't shut up, you know, it's like, sometimes I wish that I wasn't, it would stop. yeah, sometimes I wish I wasn't so driven to do this, you know, because it's like, sometimes I'm like, where is this coming from, and who am I to think that I, you know what I mean, but it's just, it's something that I've done since I was a little girl, right. you know, I've had rhymes going on in my head since I was very young. And my fa I, I'm adopted, and I recently found my biological father, and he's a performer and an actor and an activist and an entrepreneur, you know? So it's like, it's kind of like, kind of like made sense suddenly. Like, I guess maybe it's just sort of in my blood, right. you know, which I never knew until six months ago. Right, so. absolutely. And now you have Nocturnal, it's situated it's in Pittsburgh. Their name's out there, they're doing events, they're doing big things. How would you like to see the city of Pittsburgh change in upcoming years? We're going through a very transitional time where we're getting into more creative, collaborative era, I feel like. We're doing a lot of more creative endeavors. We'll have local music artists coming up. So how would you like to see the city of Pittsburgh say in five years? What would you like to see happen here to really boost that? I would like to see, like, unbridled unity. Just, you know, everyone is is literally supporting each other and that there's no, you know, like, no walls between anyone. I mean, that, you know, that, I I personally don't feel as if I have any walls. Like, I've, I've worked really hard at, you know, trying to get rid of them and I think that that's something that 
for me has been such a growth, like a growth, you know, it's helped me grow so much just by recognizing those things and one by one just kind of looking at, you know, my perceptions of things and, and sort of altering them to make a relationship easier or better or whatever it may be. And that's, I think, you know, there's so many amazing artists, there's so many amazing promoters. One right here. Shout out to Buttons. We're right behind us. Do that. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm cheating. Know? I'm being nubby, but yeah. um, she's amazing. Like, if you're not down with Kelly Mace, you need to get down with Kelly Mace. And I'm just going to get this quick endorsement of her. She helped everybody that has a name in Pittsburgh. She helped them before she helped herself. So all of y'all need to be supporting her. Even myself. Y'all need to be supporting her. She's 100% authentic. I love her to death. Love her. I love Buttons. Yeah. Oh, TV. You're so sweet. Yeah, just my baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to blow, y'all. Y'all don't know this one here. This is a true story. A lot of people make it. A lot of people get money. But this is going to be one of the few people that actually know what to do with it when she gets it. She's going to change the world. I love you. I'll you see you inside. Really uh oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's a legend right there. But, you know, the button pusher, we came up, you know, she was promoting, I was promoting, you know, Nocturnal's been around for a minute. And, and it, you know, it was something where that's what, like, what I was kind of just saying. I really want everybody to support everybody. And that's kind of what she means. Like, that's been a big thing for me since the beginning is I, I wanted to just support everybody. Like, that's how I, you know, think we'll kind of get to the next level. You know, I think Pittsburgh's eyes are on us, you know, because there's so many people that have national, worldwide attention, musically, um, medically, you know, our green industry. There's so much blowing here. I mean, it's just, there's a bubbling going on. And spiritually, you know, the Mayans told us, you know, that Pittsburgh is actually part of their prophecy, and not their prophecy that the world's going to end, that the world is going to shift, things will end, that no longer belong, but, new beginnings. you know, new beginnings, and, and we're really a part of that shift, you know, that's right. what it is, so, I think, I mean, like, what I'm, I'm, I'm not even suggesting that what I hope is, is not going to happen, like, I really genuinely believe that there will be unity, you know, absolutely, I really do. and, I mean, on that note, like, tell us about your upcoming album, like, yeah. what are your plans for the future now, what are you doing, um, well, um, I've been I've been having you know more and more time for music um, over the last year and so I've been I had several songs that I had completed um, almost right after my last album that I've just kind of been you know sitting on them so, several most actually most of them are released people I don't think maybe know that they're uh, there are songs that are singles that are going to be on my upcoming album but I released some and then I've got a whole whole bunch more that I'm just kind of finessing and getting to you know the point where I'm going to release them all on 11 11 11. Awesome so, date. Yes. Awesome date. Awesome date, definitely. And, um, you know, it's exciting and, and um, you know, I had to really put myself on a deadline. I was, I was kind of watching myself, like, think too much or like, you know, is this really what I wanted to be, you know, and I just, I'm just like, I'm putting it out there. Whatever happens. And I'm just, I'm just gonna put out what I've got, and then move on to the next thing, and you know, try to just, because I really like making new music, and my, you know, I've been because I've been making music for so long while I'm doing other things. It's always been something where I'm, you know, releasing old music. Like I'm right. always kind of releasing music like to everybody else. It's new, but to me, I've been doing it for a while. You know what I mean? So right. I'm excited to kind of get it all out there, everything that's sitting, and then really just make new music about what's going on. You know? Speak to and kind of put my spin on and see, you know, if that's helpful to anyone. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, we're looking forward to hearing so much more from you. Everybody, this is Kelly Mays, female powerhouse rapper from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you haven't heard of her, Google female rapper. And keep an eye out for her. She's coming up.